Okay, this is West Virginia Tim. We're going to find one of my caches. This is GBC4, a shocking cache. Cache page tells me that electricity is going to have to flow through your body to bigger, figure out what I need to do to solve for this cache. So first, let's find this cache. And then after I find this cache, I'm going to show you what you've got to do or what you can do to build One it. of the uh, geocaches on the Gadgets of Berkeley County Geo Trail. Uh, as I take a look at the box, I can clearly tell that there's a uh, there's a lock here that I'm going to need to open, and of course the, uh, the log container is going to be right in here. There is no numbers that I can see anywhere on this side. This is just like the other side, except there's a different array of screws, bolts, nuts, and that kind of stuff. The cache page says that the cash owner assumes uh, no responsibility. Uh, you know, attempt this cash at your own risk. Uh, it says, the question now becomes, how much electricity can be felt? And then it goes on to point out that DC voltage can be felt with as little as five milliamps. So now the question is, as I try to solve this, am I going to get shocked? So I'm kind of suspecting that I'm going to have to use this peephole and maybe what I'm going to have to do is complete the circuit by maybe touching something on this side at the same time I touch something on that side. Let's test it and see if that theory works. Okay, so I see a, a, a door peephole. So I'm going to look in this door peephole while I try different things over here. So I'm going to touch on my right side. I'm going to touch some different things. I'm going to touch some different things over here this whole time. I'm kind of looking in here. I'm just going from item to item. I'm switching from side to side. I'm trying to find... Oh! Okay, come up and listen to this. Okay. Hear that? So I can hear something. Okay, now as I look in here, I see three collars. I'm not going to share with you what those three collars are. But the cash page says... Take the first three letters of the collars that I see, of the first collar that I see, and put it in this cache. So let me go ahead and put that combination in using the first three letters of the highest collar I see. Okay, there it is. So I spelled the first three letters of the first collar I saw. Open the cache page. Open it. Here's the log to the cache. So hang around. And I want to show you exactly how you can build this cache. The heart of the geocache is, is this energy stick available at most uh, toy stores. It tells you right here on it that turn your body into a human conductor of electricity. That by touching both ends of the energy stick, it actually completes the circuit, making a human circuit. And when you do that, this is what happens. So you get both noise and sound. And um, so what, I, what I've done is I've stripped back, stripped back a little piece of um, wire. And actually on my energy stick, there's a little teeny spot where I can actually see where they brought the wire through. So I'm definitely going to put my wire right there. And I'm going to put it down as tight as I can. right, So it gets a lot of uh, conduction right here. I'm going to take a piece of black electrical tape. And I'm going to very firmly uh, put this down here on the energy stick. Okay, very, I pulled that very tight. And I have really secured that well. So now I have black tape around both ends. And notice there's um, actually no um, metallic foil showing on the energy stick so that condensation or something like that won't cause me a trouble. Of course, uh, this is probably months before I put this out, so I have no idea how well it's going to work in the field. But as you can see, if I touch this end and this end, I still get the same result. Here's the uh, cash box I'm actually going to use. Um, and I want to I wanna point out something. I really don't try to show you how to build it. I really just give you a concept. And I want you to take the concept and actually build it any way you want. Really, all it's got to be is big enough to hold a cache tube. Uh, your geocache can be horizontal or it can be vertical. Now, in this case, 
since I'm using this old geocache, uh, my uh, my energy sticks are going to have to be up and down. But notice on the outside, uh, a lot of these are just red herrings. I just try to do things to throw people off. Anybody knows anything about electricity, that one won't even conduct electricity. Here's a nail with a red head. Uh, this, this one actually moves in and out. Um, I painted red on this one. Here's a nail. Uh, some are bolts, some are screws, and I've done the same thing on the other side because we're going to have to touch one on one side and one on the other. Uh, because most of the cache is actually going to be, um, you know, filled up with the energy stick, then I'm going to have to um, uh, make this uh, the place for my geocache log, and I'll put hinges in a, in a lock on that uh, here in a few minutes, and I'll show you a little bit later. But I did want you to see the inside of the cache. Now, what I'll end up doing is taking this wire and connecting it to uh, one of these uh, screws or nuts or bolts on one side, and then I'll take the bottom lead and I'll connect it to the same thing. Actually, what I think I'm going to do is connect it to this nail because I've tested this nail. It conducts electric very well. In the other hand on building, I found that these don't really work well, the bolts, because by just touching the head, it doesn't give you as much contact. When the geocacher actually touches the nail, they most likely squeeze it. It gives them more contact, and the energy stick actually works a little bit better. So uh, let me show you the next step here in a minute. When you're building a geocache, sometimes luck comes into play. I was just pure lucky. This wire nut fits perfectly over that nail. You saw I put the wire in there, turned it around, and it really tightened down very tight. It also worked for another thing. I was going to have to put something across these two pieces of wood here to keep the energy stick from falling forward. Now the wire nuts stick out far enough that it will actually help hold uh, the energy stick in the correct place. Now here's what I couldn't show you when we found the cache. By grabbing the nail on the outside across from this stick and then grabbing the nail over here works like a champ. Touch this one. Now, of course, you touch anything else, and people will try. They've got all these options, uh, but by touching the correct two, look what we got. Works great. Eventually, I'll be attaching uh, the front of this with four Phillips screws. The reason I use Phillips screws is so that I can take the top off and get in and do any kind of maintenance I need to. Plus, the energy stick does not have replaceable batteries. Uh, my grandson has one of these. He's had it for over a year, and it's continuing to work. So hopefully uh, I'll get a year out of this before I have to replace the batteries. You can email me after you get that in the field, and I'll tell you how well it's working. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is add one of the privacy door viewers uh, that you have in hotel rooms or lots of times uh, you have in your home. Uh, I bought this at my local Lowe's. So I'll be placing this, uh, it's a 160 degree angle. I'll be drilling a hole, placing this below where the bird goes in, and uh, you'll look through this, so then when you complete your circuit, then you'll be able to see the lights on the inside, which will help give you the code to your lock. Okay, I drilled a half inch hole, to put my door viewer in, but uh, of course uh, the geocache is not near as thick as the door, so um, to be able to attach it, I actually put a little piece there and nailed it down. Um, so it works like a champ. I just wish you could see inside this hole. I'm going to actually lay my iPhone down over top of this hole and uh, grab the two buttons with my other hands. And it, it, it doesn't, it won't give you the real view because looking inside, it's as clear as a bell. But let me show you what it's going to look like. Okay. When I touch the... Uh Two screws, that's what you see in the eye viewer. You can build that cache. Bluebird box, spare parts, and energy stick. Let's raise the geocaching bar, one cache at a time.